Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. We are Prussia. We are whooping on the Ottomans. Our governing capacity is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> so I'm working on it. I'm not really sure. I think my game sound might have gone up a little bit since the last time I saw you. Uh, maybe it didn't. I don't know. Anyways, we are beating up on these Ottoman. I'm currently in the process of building up some state houses. Um, it might actually be, at this point, worth it to just kind of indiscriminately throw them down. Um, especially in these high dev buildings where it's like, I need something. So let's get rid of any churches we have around here. Build these instead. And make sure that we can do this. Uh, let's build the f get rid of the force camp there. Governing costs. This guy over here is a huge one. We have to do it over here. I can't afford it right now, but hopefully soon we can. So. As far as you guys go. Get you like half over there, half over there. That is quite a lot of galleys. 118 as a matter of fact. Wow. They have a lot of galleys. Alright, so let's get these guys grouped up over here. We'll probably have them march up here. Have these guys reinforce. Hey, we've spawned the Enlightenment. We are an enlightened despotism, I assure, or assure you. Very good. We've got some free points. We can even click the button. Be able to do it again pretty soon as well. That'll help out our governing capacity. Let's take this as well. That gives us a mil tech advantage on these guys. We're at, oh no, they took 24 as well. Hmm. So it's not as much, but it should still be a pretty bad turnout for them. No white. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we might as well take these guys over to Crimea. I mean, they can siege down Lithuania. I don't really care. How are they on medium enthusiasm again, though? Things like that I really don't understand. Like, that does not make any sense. Great Britain, hmm? Very good, let's get these guys- oh my gosh, and they're just gonna flood back over onto, uh... Constantinople because they keep doing that over and over and over again in this freaking- See, I'm annoyed now because that beeping thing wasn't happening a minute ago. Just started happening after I, uh... So actually, those guys can't get up here. So let's, uh, force march in and beat them. There you go. This should be fine. Absolutely, it's fine. Beat them up. Somehow, they're holding on very good. Get a reinforcement tick. There we go. Should be pretty easy. Absolutely, even a white. Look at that. 600,000 men almost. Their war exhaustion is skyrocketing. There's nothing they can do. Scandinavia's left. After that battle, they're just like, yeah, we know this isn't going to happen. So as far as the Enlightenment goes, the Age of Enlightenment will be coming soon. Now, I'm curious about this last institution, industrialization, national tax, and manpower. So it helps with some manpower late game. 1750. Okay. I have to really emphasize coal production, I think, which I don't admittedly have any coal, I don't believe. I might not have any. Yeah, well, can't even see it now. Do I have any, though? I have three coal provinces, four, so that's pretty good. Okay. As far as land that we want, might as well take all of the uh, Serbian land down here and give that to Croatia. So all of this, I'll just take it all for myself and then I can give it to him. Um, Greece is releasable, but I can also just release a client state. If I wanted to. I don't really want to. So I, pro I probably won't. Um, I can't really take any land for myself. That's that's the major thing. 
So, I can then take this land up here. And then... I could give Croatia some more land. Give him, like, Albania. So this is also Serbian province. Serbian down here, so he can have this. And then all this is Greek. So this is going to be all road in Croatia. This will all go to Lithuania. Might as well give him Crimea as well. Since it's got the fort down there. Now is the fun part where I get to uh, hand it all out. So Lithuania. Grant province there. Grant province there. Grant province there. Give him everything over here. go and Croatia will be granted all of this which will actually probably help him out quite a bit because this is all Ragusa trade and I can give him Kosovo you know why boys because I don't care about the gold province don't care all right nice that was a nice little chunk out of the Ottoman and we still have pretty borders we need to figure out how, what to do with Hungary so we can uh, break up those borders a bit Austria we can attack He's allied to Great Britain. Hmm. <laughs> well, it makes it a little more complicated. Idea cost until the death of Wilhelm Friedrich. He's 43 and I don't have any ideas. Tech cost though for one stab sounds pretty good, but we're still 15 years ahead. We'll just take the stability. 25% is crazy. That's very strong, but I reckon we're probably good. So let's get you guys over here. Have you guys come hang out over there. Have you guys come hang out over here. We're just going to blitzkrieg through them. I think we're going to attack Salzburg and Austria will join in. And who do we not have a truce with, I suppose? Okay, so these guys, mm, they're a vassal. Who are you allied to that I can attack? Augsburg? Florence? Yeah, most of these guys I have a truce with. All of them, actually. Mm. Would Britain help? Britain would help him, so I can't do that. Interesting. Well, when is our truce up with most of these guys? Three years? Oh, this new CPU is so beautiful. Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying, boys. Really am trying. Look how much mercantilism we actually have. Can't set an embargo on the Ottomans. I might as well just attack Russia. Just a casual decision to attack Russia. In the winter, might I add. Let's have you guys just march on up there. Actually, need to keep an eye out. Yeah, I was gonna say, they'll probably beat up on my navy. No, 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 no. You stay there. So how many lights do they have? Oh, no, no, we can handle this. I will bring in my admiral over here, though. Do they need upgraded? Yeah, they do. Well, let's at least see what we can do here. Okay, never mind. We just sunk a ton of their ships, so we're good. Give them a couple months to repair. Let's actually have you guys head over there. So they moved their capital to St. Petersburg. So we actually don't need this, really. We're gonna take that fort. This is nice, though. Oh, give me a break. Those guys actually are locked in. Wonderful. I don't know how that just happened. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And we're up over 100 absolutism, which is 
the dream. Once we take his capital up here in St. Petersburg, we will get um, some nice bennies. Let's have you guys head over there and have you guys... Nope, I said you guys have over there. Those guys are taking attrition because hostile waters, I assume. Eh, I don't really care about that one. Do they accept Albanian? It's in their culture group, but it's not accepted. Zaporozhia, hello. Coming for you. Look at that name placement, huh? Not bad. Alright. Now we just need to get over onto... Stockholm. Very good. Let's come and wipe out his galleys if we can. Okay, we lost one and a heavy. He lost three heavies and all of his galleys, so I'll say that's a win. It's interesting, I could have sworn I said to go up to Kalmar. We won it in one month, 27 days. Serbian separatists in Skopje. Yeah, I'll have to handle those guys. So... Let's actually just have this 30 stack head down there. Good riddance. The Russian flagship has been sunk. The Russian Navy. Always gotta be careful. Ever vigilant for the Russian Navy. Aye. Let's get ourselves a discipline guy. Level three. There we go. All right, they're heading back for St. Petersburg, so I'm gonna end up needing to take that out. It's gonna help with war score a bit. Let's get you guys down here, handle these rebels. They're gonna break the rebels here in a moment. It's gonna make me mad. France entered our coalition, don't care. Come on, baby. Rebel on rebel action. No, 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 no. Let's not let them take that fort as well because otherwise they will enforce their demands. The fact that our little guys are at war right now is a good thing. Means that they won't be able to be enforced on. So I wanna piece you guys out for your trade power and your money. Also break your alliances with anybody. And then uh, I'll take whatever money you're willing to give me. Beautiful. Just like that, I became probably the richest person in the world. Oof. Alright, let's pull you guys back home. Let's have you guys with him go protect trade in Lubeck. And then I want these two trade ships over here to also go protect trade in Lubeck. And then I want you guys. So what land do you actually have claims on? All of this. Something like this. Is this correct? Very good. He will accept that. And I will give all of that to uh, Lithuania. Who is now running a decent deficit, huh? Might be time to up his support there. Cause them to be overextended. Of course it would. Well, I'm not coring it up. It's probably pretty high dev, some of these guys. Oh, 32 down here in Rizon. Okay. Well, let's keep our guys out here in the grasslands. Let's find 
somewhere nice that they can... Yeah, there's no farmlands out here. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go with production. Mercantilism. And, uh, ooh, discipline for six years. Sounds good. So... We are 11 years ahead on admin. This is going to be a lot of money a month that's going into our pockets. Check out that tax. 70, 76. Nice. Let's head over there. Have you guys suppressed rebels for him? Uh, he actually looks like he's not going to have many rebels. But then over here we certainly will. I want to... Make sure I'm giving as much of it to uh, Lithuania as possible, so I don't have to handle it. Crap. Let's see, just stuff back. We're gonna actually go in and attack our coalition here soon as well. We definitely need to be. This is an all infantry army. All right, Croatia. Good thing you're drilling your army. Instead of sieging down your own lands. Hey, trading coal happened to us. Nice. Do we have a single one? Uh, where are the manufacturies now? Furnace. Oh, here it is. We haven't unlocked a furnace yet. Is it up next? No, not even next. That's funny. That is funny. Alright, cool. Truce with Ferrara, Hungary is over. So let's actually just attack Hungary immediately. Castile, huh? Let's call Pope Man in for that one. We're going to take as much of this as we possibly can. Probably this whole state. And then... Yeah, we might even full annex them for all I know. Very good. There's these guys randomly over here for no reason. Everybody entering that coalition. Still don't care. What are you guys going to do? Attack me? There we go. Britain would ca be called into this one, but I feel like it's not worth it. So these guys can just head on over. We'll just separate piece out Castile. Those guys should be handled by these rebels over here. Yikes. Our coalition is actually growing very big. It's gonna fire, for sure. Um, do something like this. And those guys can go handle that. Very good. Free money is good money. Let's actually pay off all our debts. And now our money coming in is juicy. Very juicy. Militarization is on the verge. Borderline. My vassals can handle that. Austria joined the coalition. Now it's definitely going to end up firing. So we need to wrap this war up as soon as possible. Loranian separatists, huh? Let's go handle them. Once we siege down Austria, or, yep, there we go. That's it. Yikes. All right, this is a big one. We actually need to be aware of this one, so let's slow it down a bit. Let's grab these guys, get them together. And I'm going to have overextension because of this. Luckily, it's not too bad. We are discontent for reasons. So let's see here. Come on now. Oh, give me a freaking break. Literally never lucky. Let's get to you guys over here. So... Where's Austria's capital now? Uh, I do not see it. It's right here. <laughs> Mountain fort. Cool. Okay, let's handle these rebels just because I literally cannot stand rebels. Somehow they're absolute monsters. Won the Siege of Toledo. State maintenance is good. Let's see here. Do you guys just want out like this? No, but if I carpet siege you, you will. 
Let's actually have you guys head up there. Do something like this. Get onto his forts. That'll give him that occupied and besieged provinces. Yes, sir. Yes, he will convert to Protestantism. Very good. Don't care about Austria's opinion of me. Um, it's a weird event. I don't know what that one does, really. Lifts fog of war, apparently. All right. Castile. Just a white piece is fine with me. That will basically allow me to do whatever I want here. So this war over here is a bit of a doozy, honestly. So this is just going to all go to Croatia. Let's pull our guy back here. Let's recall you as well. Unfortunate. So that's all we want. Beautiful. Now our lands are all touched up. We're not touching. We're touching tips, friends. Touching tips. Glorious. Okay, so these guys are getting all grouped up. We're gonna now head over and uh, start sieging down France. Nobody has sieged down any of my land yet. Ay ay ay, what is this? Yowzers. Um, let's get a reinforcement tick and head over here. This is just woods, so... Hmm... Lithuania, you want to help me out? No, we're good. This is mountains, but uh, I reckon I can probably still wipe them pretty quickly there. Beautiful. Yeah, poor guy, um, Dauphine is just getting whacked over here. With our casual 11 day siege ticks. Let's go with improved relations, that sounds fine to me. Go siege down this land down here. I do want to siege down Austria's capital if I can. But first off, I need to make sure that they're not uh, sieging down this land so I can actually have my vassal make progress on coring it up. That's important. This is grassland, so let's head on over there. They're reinforcing. We're still going to win. Look at that. That is not bad at all. Hmm. So let's get these guys grouped up and get these guys off on our um, western front over here. Can invest in a new technology. Might be worth it. A little bit of extra fire. I think I'll wait till January and then we'll probably actually do it. This is grasslands, which is not ideal. Well, that was ideal actually. I'll come up here into the woods and beat up on some French. Look at that. Yeah, not too bad, right? Have these guys head over this way. This is just grasslands, I believe. This one's definitely grasslands, so. Oh man. Seeding some land to the French, huh? Coward. Beautiful. Let's upgrade our cannons. That's an easy one. Alright. So, what are we looking for? I think this state and this state all should finish off going to Bohemia. That seems appropriate to me. Rebels, yeah. Ugh, so annoying. This stuff is all going to go to uh, Bohemia. There we 
go. That will go to Bohemia. Bohemia. Let's come beat up on this Venetian stack. No reason not to, right? We'll get another general. Not the best I've ever had, but I'll take it. Better than nothing. And then... Um, Good. This one will go to Bohemia. So as far as this piece deals, as long as I can get like this, I'm good. We're definitely going to end up needing to uh, wipe out some more of these enemies, which is fine with me. I don't care. Bar is the uh, war leader. So let's siege down Verdun. No, that's not what I said. I did not say to do that. I said to go to his... Thank you, sir. Get another general. That is much better, actually. Let's have you go with him. You with him. And then you guys with him. Head over here, come over here, do this. Let's actually do something like that. That makes much more sense. Beat up on this big old stack right there. Oi, oi, oi. They never stood a chance. We'll barrage that, it's fine. That's mountains, it's unfortunate. We can reinforce. They're going to reinforce a ton, though. This might actually be bad for us. Yeah, that's annoying. They still lost over double what we did. Once we take the war goal, we might be able to peace out. We'll see. Don't particularly care about that. Let's go with uh, production efficiency. Level 1 is fine, actually. There we go. Beat up on you guys. go no morale no problem oh my gosh they're just flooding in yeah look at this crap what are you coalition wars are honestly just the most annoying thing go ahead go ahead in into the woods whether you outnumber me or not there you go come on in attack me idiots what are you doing look at this Seventy-four thousand men just chilling Alright, somehow they have high enthusiasm. How? I have no idea. They feel like they're making gains, I think. Check this out. Oh no, just military strength is three, coalition war. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, we'll wrap this war up in the next one. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please show your support and leave a like. Subscribe, and when you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification every time we upload a video. Once we embrace the Enlightenment, uh, we're probably going to be wrapping up this campaign. Uh, I am ready to move on to the next one. The Prussian Space Marines are fun, but, uh, you know, stack wiping everybody doesn't quite get old, I would say, but um, there's other stuff to experience in EU4. So if you guys want to check out the Discord, keep up to date with what's going on on the channel over there. And if you really like what I do and you want to support me on Patreon, the links are in the description below the video. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.